Hello guys, Smart Paula here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I thought I'd make a quick video and show you guys how to solve this issue where when you import your Daz character or really any character in Unreal Engine, you get this error that says there's multiple hip bones and that you can't import your character in Unreal. So that has to do with a few issues, um, mainly with, you know, when you're trying to import your character, if it has eyelashes or hair or even clothes um, on your character, you're going to get that issue. And basically what that means is if you go here to the little details here, you can see that the character has the eyelashes and the eyebrows here. So, and if you expand those right there, you can see that they also have hip bones. Basically what this means is that each model here, the character's body, the eyelashes, and the brows, they each have their own separate skeletal meshes here. And basically Unreal Engine doesn't like that. They only want one um, skeletal mesh per FBX file. And so you have to basically join these uh, meshes together in Blender. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that real quick. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to delete the eyebrows because we don't really want those. They're really high poly and, you know, for your game, it's not really good to have those in there because they're just over like a couple thousand polys and just not the best for your game. So you just go ahead and select that and delete that. All right, and then all that we have left now is just our base character and then the eyelashes. Okay, so then what we can go ahead and do is file, export this onto the desktop. We're just going to name this character all right so these are all the settings that i have you can also have your morph targets i have a bunch of different morph targets here okay so even if you click merge clothing to figure skeleton it's uh not really going to do that for like some of these other items so just be aware of that okay so go ahead and click accept okay and then go ahead and open a blender file import.fbx go to your desktop select the character and you want to unchecked use pre -ro post rotation and then under the armature you want to click automatic bone orientation all right once it's imported we can go ahead and zoom up in here and then select the bones right here you can expand these tabs go to the pose go to the viewport tab right here and then assign the bones to a different layer for now Okay, so we can go back into object mode, and you can see here the eyelashes and the body are two separate meshes. Basically, we want to join these together, uh, that way we won't have any issues when we import it to Unreal. Okay, so one more thing I want to add is that the eyelash model here has these little, these little things right here, and for some reason I can't find the texture for them or whatever reason. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into edit mode and delete them because there's kind of a pain. Okay, so we can just go ahead and select those. Control L to select them all and just delete the vertices. All right, so we'll just have the eyelashes. Okay, so basically what you want to do is select the eyelashes, select the character, right click and click join. All right, and that will join the eyelashes to the female. You want to do it in that order or else it'll rename the female to the eyelashes and I think you might get some uh, problems with that. All right, so now that that's done, just click on the pose, make that visible again, go back into our object mode and just select everything here. File export .fbx. Go to the desktop, we can name this final character. And then for our export settings, you just want to uncheck bake animation. Under the armature, uncheck leaf, add leaf bones. Uh, under geometry, uncheck apply modifiers. And then check selected objects. Okay, click export. So before we import it to Unreal, all you have to do is run this through the FBX joint renamer. If you don't have this, links in the description below to download it. Go ahead and extract it. Open up the debug folder. Drag your final character. And then right click the rig. Edit that with notepad and change whatever name is right here to 
whatever name you have your FBX file to. So final character, final character, file save that. Go ahead and run the batch file. This will go ahead and rename all the bones in our FBX file. Alright, so once it's done, it will output a file name output. Just control X, control V that onto the desktop and rename that final character. Okay, now we can go ahead and open up Unreal Engine and drag this and import it. Alright, you just want to import skeleton mesh, import mesh. Make sure you have your morph targets enabled and then click import. Alright, so as you can see, it imported everything, so that's all good didn't get any errors because we joined the meshes together in Blender. So if we open up our character and zoom in on our character you can see the eyelashes are right here. So if we just go ahead and change our eyelash texture because I already have the eyelash texture set up and I'll show you how to do that in a second but basically go over to here to the morph targets and let me just fix the eyes here as well. Okay so if we go over here to the morph targets you can see that we have some facial expressions here. So if we do mouth open, or actually if we do angry, you can see that um, the eyelashes here aren't moving with the morph targets. So eyes closed, you can see the eyelashes are staying the same. You just have to scroll down here, and for some reason there's uh, duplicate morph targets because we joined both meshes, so for some reason there's duplicate morph targets. Basically you just want to use the ones down here and then as you can see the eyelashes are moving with the morph targets. Okay so you can see here alright so you just have to keep note of which ones are which so you don't get them mixed up and everything should work out fine. Alright so as for the eyelash material basically it's just your simple material here with masked changed in the material and then you want to have the mask hooked up into the opacity mask right here all right and this is not the best you know material settings here you can add some more uh, settings and like nodes in here to make it look better than this this is just a very basic hair material okay as for the eyes um, some people are kind of wondering why you know their eyes are all whited out. The eyes consist of these materials right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six eye materials here. I mean basically they're all the same. Like you can use the same material. The only thing you really want to do different is the cornea right here. So the cornea and the eye moisture. The eye moisture right here is like the actual eyeball. So if I change this actually to a different one and unhighlight that you can see that the eye moisture is basically just the default eye texture that it comes with your model and then as for the cornea right here you want that to be completely transparent because it's what goes over the actual eye so for this material I have right here just a just this uh, eye cornea masked and this is obviously set to translucent right here and the opacity mask right there Honestly, you could just probably leave this one empty if you really wanted to. And uh, what you can do to clean up your files here, you know, instead of having like multiple materials, you can go ahead and just assign one material to each and every single one of these and then go ahead and delete all these extra ones. So that's basically it, guys. Um, I hope you guys were able to learn something about how to fix the issue with, you know, duplicate hip bones when you try to import your character into Unreal. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.